in the contemporary society that we found ourselves today, majority see divorce as a taboo, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself mentioned in the Holy Quran. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not give room for divorce, he wouldn't have mentioned it in the Holy Quran. But it has to be the last resort after we might have gone through some processes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us in Surah to Baqarah, Quran chapter 2, verse 229. Bada Uzbilla bin Ashaitan al Rajim, Bismillah ar Rahman al Rahim, Atola Kumar Ratani, Faimisa Kubim Marufin out as the Umbi San, while I Ayilula Kumar Takutu Mima Ate to Muna Shayan Illa Anjaha and Ayahafa Allah Yukima Udu Udu Dalai. فَإِنْ كِفْتُمْ أَلَّا يُكِيمَ عُدُودَ اللَّهِ فَلَا جُنَاهَ عَلَيْهِمَا فِي مَا افْتَدَتْ بِهِ تِلْكَ عُدُودُ اللَّهِ فَلَا تَعْتَدُوهَا وَمَا يَتَعْدَى عُدُودَ اللَّهِ فَأُولَئِكَ هُمْ ظَالِمُونَ Allah mentioned again in Surah Al-Baqarah Quran chapter 2 that verse 236. La juna aleku in tolatumun nisa aman lam tamosuna tafurudu la unna farid dotan. Wamachi unna alal musi kodaru wa alal muktiri kodaru madam bilma ufi hakon alal musini. Allah mentioned again in chapter 65, Surah to Tolak, verse 1. Ya ayu ad nabi yu. Iza tolaktumun nisa fatoliku unna li iddati inna wa asul idda wa taqulla rabbakum la tukhriju unna min buyuti inna wa la yakhrujina illa ayatina bifaishati mubayinatin wa tilka ududullahi wa ma yatadda ududullahi wa qadi zolama nafsahu la tadri la la Allah yudhi subhada zalika amura Sadaqallahu al-Azim These are some Verses of the Holy Quran that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had mentioned to us concerning divorce in Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, At Tolakum Ratani, that divorce is being given two opportunities. If you divorce your wife the first time, you still have another opportunity the second time. The third time after divorcing her, you don't have any other opportunity again other than for her to go and marry outside. Until when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will do on her and the new husband she has married before you have opportunity of marrying her again. So you only have opportunity of divorcing your wife twice for you to take her back. The third time, you can't take her back again. So that is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying here, that at return, you have only two opportunities, that I am not marrying you again, you are no more my wife. After that first pronunciation, she will observe her ibda, a waiting period. When it completes, which we are going to explain, what is the waiting period? Ibda to wafat, how ibda to tolak. The waiting period for a Muslim woman, it's just two. The either to tola, the waiting period after disengagement from her husband. Then the second waiting period is the one that after a woman might have lost her husband during the morning period. And that one is specifically designed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the number of days. That one cannot be altered. But that of the waiting period for a divorcee can be altered because it's not peculiar to number of days that are attached to the one for the woman that her husband died, which we are going to discuss, inshallah. So if you, paraventure, mention to your wife that I'm no more interested in you for the first time, she will observe a waiting period, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned to us, that salasa to kurui. Three, Sapus and what are the sapus? We are going to talk about them. Not three months. After that, you reconcile, you marry her again. 
She now misdeed. Or you too, you do what you don't want to do. Unconsciously. That you now pronounce to her that I'm not marrying you again for the second time. She still has opportunity of retaining in your house after observing her work, her waiting period for the second time. But along the line, a misunderstanding now erupted again. You now pronounce again that I'm not marrying you again. You are not my wife, wife for the third time. She has to go out. You don't have that liberty again. You don't have that opportunity again. You don't have that privilege again. After a waiting period for the third time, she has to leave your house. She has to go and marry another person, which you must not know about their relationship. Until either she is being engaged in the other person's house or death now separated them. That is when you now have opportunity of marrying her. And if you are going to marry her again, you have to marry her as a fresh woman again. That you have to pay another man. So a man has opportunity of telling his wife that I'm not marrying you again. Just twice. The third time she has to go away from him. 